Okay, allow me to say wow, just wow. So I've been looking at the feedback and 95% of everybody in the comment section saying, you know, they, they're they wishing prayers upon me and my family that everything gets okay. You know, they're really looking forward uh, to the videos being back and, you know, they just hope everything's okay and, you know, basically they just hope that everything is uh, coming out fine, and some people in the comment section are like, I've blocked a ton of people, because some people have been very rude, very disrespectful to not only me and my family, but to also the subscribers who support what it is that I do, now, um, one dude was saying how he's reporting me because I'm begging for donations, and how, um, I'm like using you guys and first off I have never in a video asked for donations. The only time I only did that was when I dropped my ebook which I was going to sell and I would have made a ton more money. Instead I decided to do you know any ebook I drop I'll just do a donation way. Nobody had problems with that, right? Nobody's saying I'm begging for donations then. Nobody's saying I'm a sellout then. It's okay for me to take donations for doing an ebook, knowing I'm gonna make way less money, but I don't care. You know, people have, you know, since that video came up, people have donated, and that's very um, nice of you guys. You know, me and my family greatly appreciate it, but I'm not asking you guys to. People were wondering what's going on with the videos. So I went ahead and let you guys know the situation. And some people are like, you need to get a real job, stop being lazy, yada, yada, yada. It's like, <laughs> I don't mind working. You know, people act like having, doing what it is. See, that, that that's one thing why I didn't want to do the video. Because once people know you do it full time, it's, you know, it's automatically you're lazy. You need to get a job. You do this, you do that. And I was very hesitant, but, you know, everybody was very appreciative knowing I worked very hard. I was working 45 hours a week at my job, managing, you know, the overnights at Walgreens. And then I was coming home and still putting a good 30 to 40 hours into YouTube. I was doing, you know, all days doing YouTube, all night at work and doing both. And i um, been one of the select few to have a channel that has grown the way mine has and have so much support and a loyal fan base that... I was able to make more than what I was working. So it's like, you know what? Why don't I do it full time? And I know a lot of you guys enjoy it. I mean, who wouldn't want more videos from somebody you enjoy watching, right? Let's be realistic. If you enjoy my content, you're going to enjoy more videos. Oh, 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 we dropping stuff. <laughs> you're going to enjoy more videos. And the only way I could bring more videos for you guys is if I was able to step away from work and, uh, you know, be able to do this. Uh, full time and I uh, you guys have done that for me and I thank you but you know to see people saying you know just crazy things about my family also things about um just being lazy and and I'm begging for donations it's you know people have asked me right when I was doing I think I said they're asked <laughs> me when I was doing my live stream you know, my 24-hour live stream, um, I have a sub button to my, my um, you know, YouTubes and also have a uh, donation button. You know, in case anybody wanted to be nice and donate for the live stream, you could. People were asking me, and I get this all the time, if I donate to you, and I'm doing the air quotes, will you pay me? Will you play me? And the type of guy that I am, I said no. You know, I get that all the time. No, I, I refuse to because that's me taking money from you just to play me. I wouldn't, I would never do that. You know, I'm not going to charge somebody to play me. That's, you know, that's taking advantage. You know, I know a lot of people want to pay me. For me to put a price uh, for you to pay me, would people pay to play me? Of course. I know this because people, hundreds of people have been asking. You know, and it was like, oh, I'll donate to you only if I get a game in. And then, you know, more people start responding, yeah, I would too. I, I would donate only if you play me. It's like, no, I, I won't do that. I'm not going to take your money to play me. Like, that's something I won't do. People send me messages all the time. Would would I take money from them to maybe shout them out or uh, help them with their YouTube? Would, they, would I take money? No. 
No. Like, if I like your stuff, I'm going to let people know about it for free. <laughs> you know, Addy posting on my channel, Adam posting on my channel. Um, I plan on letting other people I really watch, Cookie Boy, um, T-Raw, people I really enjoy and people I think you guys would enjoy, post on my channel. I'm not going to charge them. Even if they wanted to send me something, no. Like, I know it's good for them because I have a, a large view base. And it helps them out, but I'm not going to charge somebody for that. I get questions asked all the time. Would would I take money to help them out? No, I won't. You know, I'll help you out if I enjoy your stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to take money from you. And I don't like your stuff just to take money. And I've had conversations with people. People were telling me, I'm crazy all the time. Like, yo, if somebody's offering to give you money to play them, yo, take the money and play a game. What's the big deal? It's like, I that's not the person I am. I just, I'm just not going to take money to play somebody. You know, so... um People saying that I'm begging for donations, false. I have not asked for donations whatsoever. I'm just letting people know the situation. Also, as far as um, the donations go, like I said, some people have. And like I said, me and my family are greatly appreciate, appreciative of it. But again, we're not asking. <laughs> you know, people have just decided to do it. And I mean, I think that's very nice of them. But again, that's not something I, I am you know, asking for, that's not something, please guys, help me out, do me a favor, that's not something I'm asking, no, so, uh, if you guys want to know the latest situation, uh, again, we are in a financial bind, because most of our money was tied up in negativity, um, we actually got paid yesterday, uh, actually a couple of days early, and, uh, again, the amount is way less than what it is that we need, due to the fact that a majority of it, a big chunk of the the amount that we got was just gone straight to the negativity that we had in the balance. So, uh, fortunately, we do have a positive balance now, but it's just way less than what it is that we need to pay for everything. So, the, this is the situation, uh, the two things that is going to happen. One is either we leave the laptop in for another month, you know, put an extension on the laptop is going to be a little bit more when we do take it out, but it's like an extra $50 or whatever to leave it in there for another month because in order to pay rent, the bills, what the baby needs, and take out the laptop, we just don't have enough for that. It's either that or we just basically not pay rent, take the laptop out, be able to uh, sell our furniture. Uh, I would go back to stay with my mother in Connecticut for a little, probably for a couple months. My wife and son would go stay with her mother until we're able to save up and get another place back in Connecticut. Because, again, my wife wanted to go to Connecticut all along. So, it's like, if we pay rent here and I go a month without doing any videos, basically a month on like two weeks, there's no way I'm going to be able to have the view quota for me to be able to afford month, two months from now. I mean, for me to afford rent two months from now. So, either way, we're in a bind. So, like I said, one thing we're just we're thinking about doing is just not take the laptop out, pay the rent. Hopefully, everything goes well here and we can afford everything. And then next month, get the laptop out. We should have enough, hopefully. Um, or um, what we're kind of more likely thinking is moving back to, you know, I would go back to Connecticut. She will stay here with her mother. And yes, guys, if that happens for everybody who's saying I'm lazy, I need to get a job, I will go back to work. You know, I worked at the store at Walgreens. I would go back to work, you know, while I'm staying with my mother. You know, of course, I'm going to have my laptop. I'm going to have a lot of time to dedicate to YouTube, but I would go back to work. You know, um, I'm sure the store I worked at would have no problem accepting me back. So I would go back to work, you know, and um, the thing is, I'm really not too comfortable Living in Connecticut, but I mean, we got to do what it is we got to do. Um, either way, we're going to be stuck at one point. You know, if we stay here, don't take the laptop out. Like I said, two months from now, when that check comes in, not doing videos for a month and a half is just not going to probably make even rent then. So, um, just a no no situation for two months now. But it's like we don't pay rent and we kind of basically. Uh, don't pay rent and we're out of here within a couple of weeks and the money that we have now would go on me taking a plane back to Connecticut for me to go, you know, stay with my mother until uh, me and my wife just basically save up money and then get another place back in Connecticut. Um, those are the options. So uh, either way, you guys are still going to go without videos for a little bit. Um, I would go back to doing videos very quickly 
if I if we do the whole Connecticut thing, probably save me like two weeks. But if we don't and we end up staying here, then that's going to cost us a month without the laptop. So um, I'm not sure. We're still discussing it. You know, it's, it's basically the best thing for us and. I'm not going to lie, I'm probably leaning more towards the Connecticut thing because I miss you guys. Like, I really miss doing videos. All the time I hated editing videos, I would kill, <coughs> excuse me, to edit a video right now. You guys don't know what I would do to edit a video right now. Like, oh my God, to do a video for you guys would mean so much to me right now. And uh, I definitely took the the editing part for granted Again, that's what made me love YouTube is the fact that I could escape from the world, focus on editing, and I truly miss it. I miss doing content for you guys. I miss you guys' comments. I miss you guys' feedback, and I miss all that. So that has a big factor too. You know, I don't want to go too long without doing videos, even though without doing videos, my channel still growing. You know, I'm still getting 60, 70 subs a day, but, you know, I'm not worried about the new subs. I'm worried about the people that, that um you know, come to me for daily content, and I want to bring that to you guys as quickly as possible, but either way, man, we're still thinking about it, but I just want to let you guys know, um, again, I'm just letting you guys know now, if you guys are disrespectful, if you have opinion, that's cool, some people are like, you know, quit YouTube, go back to work, you know, maybe this isn't working out for you, that's fine, but to be disrespectful to me and my family, you're going to get blocked, you know, I don't care if that unsubs you from my channel, and I never get another view from you again, you know, you can you can have your comments, you can have your opinions in a respectful way, some people are just flat out rude, disrespectful to not only, like I said, me and my family, but my subscribers, which is also my family, so, um, all I ask is that if you feel a certain way, just please do it in a respectful way. You know, I respect you guys, and all I ask is that you guys respect me and my family and also the rest of the people who uh, leave comments and things like that. So, um, just wanted to let you guys in. It's your boy GS, and I'm out. Peace.